Hello again. Um, auction day today. So I've been to an auction. Um, bought some bits I liked. Uh, I thought I'd show you the sort of stuff that um, you can pick up at auction basically. So I'm just going to go through a couple of bits and see what we got because I, I really don't know myself. I just get a bit carried away at the auction. Um, and let's go for this box. Right. This is a load of old leather stuff. Um, oh, it's terrible in here, I do apologise. Let's go around there. Right, so there's a load of leather straps here. Quite good leather, actually. Lovely old buckles and that in there. This, this whole box cost me £5. <laughs> it don't look like much, but some of the leather's quite good. Um, there's some different bits and pieces. Um, some old chains and bits. No, I should have all right. Be able to use the old buckles and that off of them. Uh, what else should we get over here? A bag of these. I'll take it there for paraffin lamps. They're all right, they're all brand new. Quite ornate. Really, the old gauze on the top. On the top there. It's alright. There's loads in there. Uh, that should be alright. Now what I do, I buy the stuff and then um, I buy things I want for myself and then I try and sell this stuff so that um, I basically get what I want for free. <laughs> well that's nice, that's a if it's your type of thing. Which it is mine, I love all this. These are antique bull's horns, and there's two sets on there, which is quite unusual. I don't really see that very often. There's a lovely old um, oak shield that it's mounted on, and you can tell it's old because they're always the old ones. I've always got the cross heads, the cross head screws. Right, that's another thing. All right, this is box. Now, unfortunately, this box has got a lovely old tilly lamp in it. Which is why I bought it. Nice old one. Um, I don't know what her name is. On it. But, um, unfortunately, driving back and I broke the bloody glass on it. As you can see, smashed. So that's um, something that's not going to be worth an awful lot now. Um, let's see what else is in this box. This box was 12 quid. There's an old fly trap. Um, Old phone case, no, that phone case, that's a Nokia phone case. Um, that's all right though, that's a, a new marble square. A little bit of rust on it. That's a decent square, that. What would that be, 20 quid, I suppose? If you bought it, 20, 25 pounds for that size. The whole box cost me 12, so it's all right if you need it, innit? Um, this is nice. This is. Um, for doing circles, obviously, steel. You, you um, obviously adjust that, turn that, and it slides up and down, and it's got a pin in it. You see that pin at the top? And that's good. That will be a keeper. That will be something I keep for myself. And what else have we got in here? We got. Oh, and a national registration identity card. Oh, look at that. Hey, postcard. Bloody hell, I don't know how old that is, but it's a bit risque. Oh, God, we'll get banned off YouTube for showing that. <laughs> um, let's just say. Um, have to look that up. So, Wilford Road, Wellington, Somerset. Mm. Yeah. It's an old identity card. Know where that would that be wartime? Maybe someone could tell me. National registration identity card. Different. Okay, what else we got? An old um, railway book. Uh, what's this? Oh, nice old cutthroat razor. Look at that. Needs a clean up. But it's full bladed. That's quite nice with half, half the case. Okay, all right, uh, next, loads of um, brand new spark plugs, and I won't need that with my bloody car. Oh, they're right, they're, they look, um, yeah, they're brand new. 
brand new spark plugs. Randy, Harry. There we go, look, what's this? Oh, look at that, it's an old, um, it's an old lighter. An old Rolson lighter. That's all right. Okay, next. Oh. oh. Who's that? That's a photograph, obviously. Oh. Yeah. Unusual. I don't know who that is. Oh, there we go. Radio Times copyright photograph. Okay. What was in there? Oh, nice old picture. Horses. Hmm. That's alright as well. I don't think. I think it's actually a picture that has been painted on to make it look old. I don't think it. Oh, I don't know though. The frame's quite old. Hmm. I don't know. I have to have a look a bit closer into that. Cause, well, a picture really. But, but have a look. Have a look. Okay. Right, what else we got? Oh, a couple of phone cases. Help. Oh, we have. What is that? That's uh, Lord's Ground, England versus India, and it. You can see it's got a signature there. I don't know whose signature is there. It'd be handy if we knew. Um, obviously, something else I'll have to have a look at. Nice old lead knife. Or leather knife, leather knife probably. That's all right. And a load of these. What are these? Oh. Oh. Like film slides. There's loads of those. Uh, view. Viewmaster. Okay. All right. Interesting. That's one box. Put all that back in there. And I'll have to go for it late and decide what to keep. I won't give it off. All right. So, next one. Oh, oh, some of these boxes are too heavy for me, really. Um, what have we got in here? It's old lathe tools. Mm. For a lathe, obviously. A chuck or a fredder? I think that's a fredder. Yeah, it is. It's a fredder for a, for a lathe. Mm. It's interesting. Uh, oh, there's another one. I don't know what that is. This goes. Um, it's another thing I have no idea about. I'm not very good at this, am I? It seems to. It turns around like that. I don't know. Maybe that's another sort of threader. Oh, actually, if you look in there. So you can see. You can't really see with this camera. It looks like there's a f another thread there. Anyway, I think we had a cable. This was five pound. This box. Well, not with those lay bits, but it's five pound for what else is in here. Some old string, twine, oh. rubbish. Ooh, crown open. <laughs> We do with a beer. Um, there we go. Little, um, mm -hmm. Hook for the car. Mm -hmm. Another load of oh, extension lead. Oh, that's handy, Harry. Needs another extension lead. What right, would you pay a fiver for that, wouldn't you? So, that's all right. A couple of old steels. Nice old still that's yes. Horn and now one's wood. Um oh bottom jar. What's that say? Stem Stem Ginger and Stone's original green ginger wine. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> Not oh look at that. Lovely old cleaver that I have to do one restoring one of these. I've done a couple of rest restorations on these old cleavers, they're lovely old bits of kit. And you can invert them as well. I've got so many uses for these old cleavers. It has a nice shape to that as well. Look at that. Um, an old sickle. These are good as well. You can use these blades for loads of different things. If you're making, um, they make good spoon um, making knives. You take the blade and just curl it and stick it in another handle. 
shave it down and they're quite good. The steel's brilliant, you know, this old steel. Can't beat the old forged steel. There you go, there's that. Oh, God, there's a, <laughs> a PlayStation 1. Look at that. Oh, that looks absolutely grossy, nasty. Anyway, that's that bit. Pull them back in. And this is what I get up to on a bloody Saturday. And I've got the, when my back's good enough to let me go. Um, right, what have we got in here? Uh, let's move these. I've got a couple of old vices. Oh, that's a nice old record one. There's another one. Oh, that's a 52. That's a quite a big old voice, that one. Oh, like new as well. Uh, move these lay bits out of the way. Uh, right, pull this box over. Oh. Firstly, there's a couple of old, um, again, the blades on these, rather than throw them out, they can be used for other things. There's plenty uh, of things these can be used for. Um, even, even these old grotty things, they still grab uses. It's always good to, it's like the best recycling there is. I don't know what this is, it's a cribbage board or something, is it? Very strange. Look, a bit of aluminium. It'll be all right in the old melting pot <laughs> if I can't find another use for it. Uh, what we got here? Get that for a drill bit. Oh, and it has an extension as well, so that unscrews that one. Oh. Right. oh, old gut busted drill. <laughs> Absolutely. I have no use whatsoever for these. Just don't use them. Um, these are nice. These are the old. Um, hand done drill bits we used to have a, have a handle across here um, and do your drilling the steel's fantastic and again loads of different uses for these there's an old iron there's an old puller for your um, forge oh, this was a 10 pound box cost me a whole 10 pounds nice old um you go record sash clamp these are great because you can just stick whatever size wood you want and that's how big your sash clamp will be uh, brilliant bits of kit uh, stick them down there oh, oh, another two big another two big drill bits look at those they're great steel brilliant very pleased with those oh and another one and another one look at that great <laughs> yeah what we got we got uh, oh, two brand new handles for hammers which again, brilliant because I'm always putting handles on hammers. Um, and if you buy them, what they're going to cost you three or four quid each, I suppose. The whole box was ten pound. So auctions are always good for that sort of thing. I've got a couple of lovely bits of lovely old pegs. Look at them. Look at them. That looks like an old um, big top tent peg or something. It's massive. And another one and a shorter one. See what you can use these for. We cut them. Cut them down, and if you're ring making out of coins, you can use them as the, you know, the the, the punch because it's already tapered. So you could, I might use that, cut that down. That saves buying them, doesn't it? Yeah, uh, what we got? Mm, original surf form. They're good and all. Unfortunately, the bloody handles break. But, oh look, yeah, here you go. Look, pretty much brand new scraper. And to tell you what, if you go down here, down your DIY centre, that with a rose, I think that's rose, are they rosewood handles on them? I think that probably cost you 10 or 15 pounds just for that. And all in all, this one's turning out to be a good box. Oh, look at that, tinning solder. A whole reel of tinning solder. Jesus, it's huge. There you go. That's your money again, isn't that? Uh, nice old um, grease gun. That's a good one, isn't it? Uh, you uh, see that? Uh, I think That's alright. I like the old grease guns. I collect them with the oil cans. Alright, plum bob. There's a nice plum bob as well. Very good. Oh, what else we got? A couple of, couple of old wedges. <laughs> yeah, can I, can you, I still use them because I'll cut the ends off and they'll be the wedges that go in the hammer handles. So I use everything, I use as much as I can. Oh, look, lovely old saw, look. 
or a cracking old saw when that's cleaned up. I know most people buy for their throwaways now, but you can't beat a good old saw. Now another blade, another drill bit blade, that makes about 10 of them. Oh, look at these. Look at these old, proper old butcher's knives. Jesus, they're, they're, they wouldn't have been cheap. I know mean, they're nice ones. Yeah. There we go, look, that's it, I'm sorted, I've got an iron. That's it, uh, Mrs. sees that, I'll have to be ironing my own bleeding clothes. Great bit of kit. They're good for door stops and stuff though. Uh, we've got a bit of a oh, tow rope, or oh, some rope. Crap. Uh, some wire. What are we going to use that for? Big old dressmaking scissors. <laughs> They're alright, restored and all, and fabric scissors, they're great for that. What else have we got? Oh, no, there we go, socket bar. You get so many good, so many, I love these job blocks. Good old rummage. It's as good as being at boot sale. There's a saw set. Ah, that's nice. That's a, what is that? Saw saw. Yeah, it's a John Riley, is it? That's a nice axe head, actually, that one. Be nice converted if you cut these, cut a bow into these like this, and down like that. And you turn them into sort of Viking axes. They're quite good for that. That's all right, that's forged as well. Obviously, you can tell that's a forged. So, all in all, it's not a bad day. We've got a leather punch. Nice old leather punch. Hole punch, the lever. A couple of garden tools. Uh, break bar. Um, oh, some more tin. For tinning. Um, I don't know what that is. Oh, I don't know what that is either. That's like a, some sort of clamp. Something, but it's only for something. Engineer's clamp, maybe. You can see it's got a V in there for old and stuff. And then we've got these. Now, maybe if you can see in the light. Very strange. I'd love to know what these are for. I don't suppose you can see properly, but there's like a hole in there. Very strange. I don't know what they are. I'll have to look at them. I don't like it and I don't know what a tool is. Oh, there's that another old punch. Um, what else have we got? Oh, look at those. They're very strange. Look at them. Curved like... Per I don't know. Like reverse tongs or something. I don't know. Uh, that's about it, really. Some Allen keys and a couple of sack of turns, a little rake, a fork. Oh. Yeah, that's about it. Oh, yeah, and a nice big hammerhead. <laughs> oh, that's a bit it. About it, really. Um, got this. Um, I don't know if I just showed you that. Oh, that's another lathe bit. You can tell because it's got the, the um, chuck piece here. Sorry about the lighting. Um, just thought this is what I do. Get one day a week and build all of my energy up and go on a Saturday and that's what I do. Um, lovely old plane in here. I did get this is a lovely old plane, just needs some needs some work. Needs tidying up, but it's an old Stanley 45, yeah, Stanley 45. That lovely rosewood handle. Lovely old plane. These are really nice. And the good thing about this is that look at all the blades with it. The whole box of blades. Pretty much the whole box anyway. Look, loads of them. And there's a load of other bits in there and all, which I'll have to have a look through. Bars, extensions and all sorts of gear. Must be a different oh, must be a different blade that you can change over. That goes on there as well. Oh, you can tell, can't you? Like that. Who replaces that? I think. Or is it the other? Oh, it might be that bit, isn't it? 
So the bars go through. And that sits like that. Yeah, I'm with you. Okay. Don't know everything. Right. Well, that's that. That's a beautiful plane. Love it. Love it. I do love old tools. Right, well, that's it. Um, a couple more bits. Uh, and, um, record mic clamp. Always handy. And another little vices. These are so, they're just so handy. You don't always need a massive vice. These are great bits of kit. Take a bit of wood in there and you can clamp that one if you want. Um, red, red, what, red, red, something like that, number 30 anyway, okay, right, that's it, oh there's a DC 195 as well, whatever the bloody hell, to go for, that's a pipe clamp, right, well I think that's about it, I just want to show you, sort of crap, I was going to say crap then, it's not crap, it's very good stuff, <laughs> thanks a lot, cheers, bye.